If you want to spend less than $20,000 on a travel trailer, I might have a solution here for you. Welcome to HB RV Lifestyle. They call me the Honey Badger because I give it to you straight and transparent about the RV business. This is a 2016 Keystone Hideout 26 BHS. This is on consignment from a customer for $19,900 at RV Exchange, and we're about an hour outside of Las Vegas. But for the rest of you around the country, if you can find something like this, you're gonna spend under $20,000. Now, this is the number one selling bunk model uh, floor plan in the industry. Now, this particular one, it comes with a two battery setup with battery disconnect, two five gallon propane tanks. Even though it's got the bigger cover, it only has two five gallons under there. It also has a pro uh, electric tongue jack, it's not in bad shape. It's very sun-worn on the front cap, which was very normal for Keystone, but the actual sides are in good shape. Everything in the interior is clean and in good shape, except for it has a torn on it. Now I can convince the customer, if someone bought it at 19.9, I could convince them to convince the customer to actually replace the awning. But for those of you that don't live on the West Coast, this is the kind of stuff that you're going to see in the industry that's got large bunk beds, cold weather package, uh, outside kitchen, because normally stuff like this in the industry, whoop, it's locked, um, in the industry right now is going for around $30,000, okay? Now, going inside, besides a six-gallon propane uh, hot water heater, what I want to do is show you the interior. Whoever owns this, the owner himself and herself, uh, actually took really good care of the furniture. Normally, I see tears, especially with children. Um, I see stains. This is actually a very clean couch. And the dinette has the normal fading. Because see this flowery pattern, flowery pattern back here? This fades really bad. After about three, four years of sitting in it, it just fades. But if you look at the actual dinette cushions, they're in really good shape for having children. There's a couple of uh, things that just can be cleaned up, see, picked up and cleaned. Um, the, the shades are in good shape. The valances are really nice for being flower pattern. The flower pattern was the thing uh, eight years ago. So the cabinets are in really good condition. Everything is uh, well, I, I think that's a waste, but, you know, that's just me. I mean, you could put plates and, and bowls in there, I guess, but I know a lot of you guys told me when I did the Flagstaff video that you like that cabinet. I still just think it's a waste, just in my opinion. All right, so it's got the full-size bunk beds. Now, I can't turn it on because I'm not a young spring chicken anymore, but back there is a light, and then also uh, down here, you have a light which actually is turned on and you have an outlet for charging right here. And there's windows on each side. So you can get some airflow. It's got a 15,000 BTU air conditioner, 25,000 BTU furnace, a pantry. And you could tell this part has been worn the most. If you look down here, this is our, and it's cheap material. It's just a wrap. Now you could take some crayon and fill that in uh, to make it look good, but good size cabinets good size pantry, you get payments around 180 to 200 bucks a month. Uh, you have a propane electric refrigerator, three burner stove and oven. The oven, I can tell has never been used. And Keystone has always done a good job putting decent counter space in this floor plan. Um, it's not the greatest. And as you know, I'm not a fan of that sink. I like a one-piece sink because you pasole, tortilla soup, you need big round pots, tall pots, kind of hard to clean that inside that sink. Good cabinet space, four pots and pans up top. They're deep, there's no divider. So you got flexibility there. That is a mirror, but it flips around. There's a TV, DVD player, and CD player with Blu-ray. And this is something I really like. It looks like a deeper cabinet, but there's a lip here. So you could put DVDs. 
I know DVDs are not the big thing anymore like they used to be, but when you're going to a place where you're going to have no internet, no reception, and it's raining outside, it's kind of nice to have the DVDs to watch some movies. That is a waste of space. But again, people have told me that they like that, that they, they figured out ways to put storage there. Um, instead of the pocket doors, they put the, I put the accordion go door, full residential size queen bed, two closets and storage up top. That's standard in this floor plan. And then we're going to go, I think we skipped over the bathroom. Yes, we did. We skipped over the bathroom. I'm an idiot. Now, bathtub with shower. The toilet is in a good spot where you don't feel like you're in a sardine can. As you can tell, very clean unit outside of a few things, um, cosmetically. Everything worked in it, uh, or does work in it, I should say. And, uh, hey man, whoever buys this is gonna get a good rig. You know, but if you're in other parts of the country, you know, it gives you an idea what you're looking for if you want an under 32 foot total length, half ton towable uh, travel trailer that you can get for under 20 grand. Something like this is very possible where the fascia is in good shape and kids haven't destroyed it completely. There are people that take pretty good care of their stuff. Now there's weather ridden stuff out there guys where the exterior is worn because of weather. I have a Keystone Bullet that the interior does not match the exterior because they live in some intense heat and intense sunlight. And unfortunately, Keystone, back in the day, didn't build the best fiberglass. And Luan fiberglass seems to delaminate, burn, things of that nature when it's not covered or when you don't wax it. And in fact, uh, if you have any questions, actually, if you have any questions... All my contact information is in the description box below, including the web link to this trailer if you're on the West Coast and you're interested in looking at it in person. And in the top right-hand corner of this video, I put another used travel trailer that I filmed a little while ago. We're talking about probably two, three years ago that I think you're going to like just as much as you like this one. 